Folks, it's Sunday with a barking dog. <laughs> Welcome to Murder Hobo Week. I'm going to kill that thing. Uh, thanks for joining us. If this is your first time, welcome aboard. If this is your, you got to shut him up. <laughs> okay, or I'll kill him. <laughs> I just, it's a new sound effect for the game. He, he's like seven feet away through an open door. Uh, folks, if this is the first time you've been here, uh, yeah, we usually are this disjointed. It's not that big a deal. If you've uh, been here before, you already know that. So uh, let's dispense with the regular shit. Uh, follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot shit about D&D, &D. join our Discord if you want to buy our cool crap like this or this or a duvet or a pillowcase right there, you know, somebody doesn't want Buttercup to die, uh, check out our store. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on a one shot like uh, the folks last night had uh, two brand new hobos and two returning hobos or on the talk show on Tuesday, hit us up. M Hobo Inc. Twitter, Gmail. Uh, we'll try and get you on there, give you about two hours worth of fun and laughs, uh, maybe even a memory or two. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors. The list is growing. So, uh, Pirate Dog Dice. I think I'm going to use Big Red today, uh, and you'll understand why in a about 10 minutes. Uh, Pirate Dog Dice, if you want custom dice, hit them up, tell them what you want. See if they can do it. Uh, and if your game stinks, unlike ours, ours smells like roses and joy. Uh, but if your game stinks or needs a little help, uh, try some Adventure Sense. Uh, they make a plethora of scents. Some beautiful, some uh, make Kyle vomit, which is kind of funny to watch. Uh, I'll have to repost that. Uh, they are from oddfishgames.com, makers of the Shine System. So if you want to learn how to write gooder than me, uh, check out their Shine System. Coming soon, their Kickstarter on how to RPG with a cat. Now, folks, uh, if I haven't drilled it into your head enough on Twitter and other forms of social media, Murder Hobo Con, not Inc., Murder Hobo Con, uh, is coming at you August 1st. It's a Sunday. Gonna go 9.30 to 10.30 at night. So 9.30 a.m., 10.30 p.m. Uh, right now we are accepting DM, GM, and seminar leads. So if you want to run a game, you want to run a seminar, you want to run a panel, you want to do something like that, or hell, if you want to be a performer, we've got, I think, two bands and a comedian lined up for you. We're, you know, we're like real shit. Is what we are. That's what we are. Uh, but uh, browse on over to Tabletop Games, uh, find Murder Hobo Con, and uh, submit your name. Badges are only five bucks, and best of all, it's a charity. So once the bills are paid, all the money goes to the American Cancer Society because we all know somebody who's been affected or affected themselves with cancer. So let's try and stomp that out. Uh, that is the big spiel. Let's go ahead and introduce you to the people who are going to make you laugh, groan, and cry today. Uh, we will start with the veteran member of the crew, Frank Sr. Tell us about yourself. Tell us about your PC. I am Frank Sr., the old man of the bunch. I would be Frank number uno. And I am playing Leaf the Considerate Druid Cleric. And the shit starts oh, early. Did I, I left facetious off there. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, now going from one end of the spectrum to the other, uh, our youngest member, the youngest Frank. Tell us about yourself. And no, you're going to have to change that name. That does not apply at all. <laughs> Hi, I am Dr. Fang, MD. <laughs> wow. I'm yeah. here to save lives and fix problems with the great axe. I am very precise with it. You should keep well, I don't, I don't think you've hit one of your own teammates in quite a while, have you? Exactly. I'm very precise. <laughs> That's only because we're staying the hell away from me. <laughs> I, I would concur. Uh, next up is Jason. Jason, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character who has recently been depicted in an image of notoriety. And I got to tweet that baby out. Opius Fullbitters the third, uh, the entrepreneur, uh, ninth in line to the Copious Fullbitters fortune brewery and fortune, making his way in the world. Just trying to make everybody happy. That's all. He, that's all he does. 
<laughs> wow. Well, you know what? And if you didn't have five dipshits with you, you would probably be quite successful. Uh, speaking of dipshits, uh, AJ, tell us about yourself. Me? Oh. <laughs> well, I guess that's a good lead in. That's pretty much everything you need to know about me. But I'm playing Felix, not your hero, uh, Graf. Uh, you know, just your resident dipshit. But you've got the best mount of them all, do you not? I have the beautiful Buttercup, who is currently with Ol, I guess. We'll know uh, when it comes she, out, won't we? As long as it comes out. But. Uh, she, she is she's a little bit hefty. Uh, all of your zonkeys are a little bit hefty anymore. Yeah, uh, I've been stable too long. That's true. Uh, not enough adventure. Last but certainly not least, mm. uh, Nicholas, I'm going to ask you to just try and keep it short for once. No, uh, don't. Tell, tell us about yourself. <laughs> tell us about your PC. Um, Haggiscraft. I have Acid Splash. Now, see, now you're just adding on shit. So <laughs> You've gone from very concise, very precise to, uh, you know, I got this. So, uh, folks, these guys uh, were geezed, gazed, quested to find a jewel because uh, Middle Frank, aka Robert of Zeppelin, uh, had lycanthropy and he was going to be killed. But in lieu of death, the Sisters of the Moon uh, opted an opportunity for these guys uh they were sent to the uh nasty mountain range to recover a jewel uh surprisingly enough they did so without killing themselves or their mounts uh not without a few trials and tribulations along the way uh they are on their way back they have 10 days to complete it they are at the end of day seven i believe uh and they are <sighs> probably being chased by pitchfork and torch wielding citizens. They have made it past uh, Smidgey's Roadhouse where a great deal of anarchy was thrust upon the citizens by players who shall not be named and are not currently present. Um, well, and two others. Dr. Frankenstein. Right, Felix and Haggis? <laughs> I had nothing to do with that. I was simply trying to... You weren't doing squat, dude. You were tied up on the back of a horse. See, exactly. I, I had absolutely nothing to do with what happened. Well, you and the nude master uh, <laughs> are no longer welcome at Smidgey's Roadhouse. These guys managed to uh, heroically sneak by in the darkness last night. However, their jaunt was interrupted by a thunderous amount of horse hooves, uh, and clearly the general populace is out looking for them. Gentlemen, it is after midnight, uh, early day eight. Uh, you are a day and a half out, so you are ahead of schedule. Cutting so, uh, across country, I believe. Wow. Uh, yeah, you are you are following the road. Uh, let's go ahead and throw up the map here. Uh, if I remember how to do that, it's been a while. It's been a rough day, folks. The DM be tired. Uh, okay, so uh, they started over here in Triorki. They ended up over here. Uh, you got uh, Smidgey's Roadhouse here. They have managed to cut across country this way. The Sisters of the Moonlight are right about there. So as you can see, right on schedule, right on track to arrive early. I mean, that's because that's what heroes do. These guys are just awesome. He's uh, going to hose it, you know that. <laughs> that doesn't sound like me. Oh, uh, no, hell no. Hell no. Every time a compliment comes out of your <laughs> mouth, the ship goes in our backs. <laughs> Well, let's check those backs, boys and girls. Uh, so you guys are off the road, crossing country. Uh, so you're going to be a little bit slowed. But again, you guys are ahead of schedule. Uh, clearly, no rolls needed. Uh, you got the jewel. You got what's needed. Uh, you can feel the pulsing of the geese gaze quest spell upon you. Uh, but again, uh, Ah, it's after midnight. You guys are starting to feel it. You've managed to avoid the uh, 
hot pursuit gig. What would you like to do? You want to risk exhaustion or do you want to make camp for a short rest? Let me get clarification here. We went snuck by in the wee hours of the morning. Mm -hmm. We've been marching all day. Yep. Uh, we're taking a rest. Okay. It's nap time. Yeah, you, you guys are safe and sound here in the Halfling Kingdom where almost nothing happens. You guys are going to go ahead and take a break. How many hours would you like to sleep? Well, were we going to try to take a, a full short rest, so half a night? Is that what we were shooting for? Yeah. We could, we could do half a night. Yeah, I don't want to take a chance on exhaustion on that last leg of this trip. And then travel, get up and get moving before the morning light? Yes. The Maybe we can get by Tremont City or whatever. Tree Orky? Tree Orky. And then we had talked about potentially going back, bunking back down and hiding if needed, if we're fatigued during the day, so we finish up the last leg at night. Yes. Okay, that's what I recall. Mm -hmm. uh, do we, does anyone have a spell or something so we don't have to post guard, or do we make Robert stand watch? You can make Robert stand watch. I can stand watch. I don't mind. Only fair. We need strap him to it. Only need two. Yeah, I, I don't mind standing watch. You want to shoot for the first one, Haggis, or the second one? Which, whichever Robert doesn't want to do, I'll do that one. Odd, Robert will take first. Even he will take second. Three. He'll take the first watch. Uh, who wants to D12 against me to start this debacle? I think Haggis should if he's the one that's done one. I do too. Right, I, I third that. That way we can blame the halfling when it all goes wrong. <laughs> halfling kingdom. Uh, seven. Uh, I too got a seven, which is outstanding news. The night passes uneventfully, and Robert of Zeppelin uh, rudely roughs you up to say, hey, your turn to guard. Uh, that doesn't sound it. like him. No, it doesn't sound like him at all. Normally, he <laughs> yeah. gives you a small kiss and a brush on the chin. But, uh, today <laughs> yeah. He's in a mood. Uh, tells you that he built a small campfire, and he built it in a pit, so the light is low. Uh, it is pitch black out here, but you can see signs of uh, illumination. It's starting. I to have the away. spider. Yep, you do have uh, three of you, I believe, have spiders that allow infrared or dark vision. So, just two of them. No, I have two of the characters. Oh. What don't you have the really expensive one? Yes. Okay. So. Does it add on night vision? So you have one plus another one, and you get Great. more night vision. Strangely, it does not. Uh, Copious, I need a constitution saving throw, though, please. I love those. Those are my favorite because, you know, this, this natural 20, let's burn it early. Yeah. So uh, you have a very restful sleep. No haunting arachnid dreams or anything like that. Uh, you just are sawing wood. Uh, Haggis, as you make it through the end of your watch, uh, you notice... Uh, the sunlight coming up. Give me a wisdom check, please. That sounds great. That sounds like a good thing. Yeah, that's a good thing. 18. 18. For some reason, though, the sun is rising in the west. Where does the sun normally rise? <laughs> east. It should be rising that way. It's rising that way where you came from. So that means it's not the sun. It's that is, you know, ladies and gentlemen, when you roll an 18 on your wisdom check, you know shit. You're smart. Uh, you are correct, Haggis. Uh, that is probably not right. Uh, also, with your 18, uh, you notice silhouetted what appears to be a rider. Oh. So are we on the road or in the woods? You are on the hills, off the road, about a good mile off the road. Okay. Then I'll watch. The, I'll inspect this writer. Sure. Uh, as you watch, it uh, appears to be, even from this distance, a smaller pony, uh, similar to what uh, a halfling would ride as a mount, uh, unless they were riding a really cool mastiff or a giant ram. Uh, but it is a small pony. Uh, the individual is just riding breakneck speed, and you can see. He's flipping the bridle back and forth, uh, spurring his mount on. As you look in what would be the 10 o'clock position on the horizon, 
that is where the sun is rising. Uh, flickers of illumination uh, go. Uh, and then you start to see a second figure uh, silhouetted against just this burst of illumination. It appears to be serpentine with wings. Uh, and you're starting to put together the puzzle pieces rather rapidly as you hear copious volbitters snoring deep within REM sleep. Uh, there is light to the east from the rising sun. There is a lot of light to the 10 o'clock position, the rider, and the winged serpentine creature. Uh, you can hear a, a muffled yell as the rider continues to spur forth. Uh, you see the mount stumble uh, because, as you know, uh, these are hills and they are not perfectly flat. So it looks like the mount has uh, found a gopher hole. The rider is flung unmercifully and takes a tumble. Uh, as you watch, just enjoying your morning nest tea coffee or whatever the hell you're doing, uh, you notice the individual get up and just running dead on uh, towards your camp. But looking around, yeah, you, you know you guys are hidden in a small copse of trees, so you aren't sure how this individual knows you're coming. What do you want to do? So I'm going to... I'm going to... How long have I been up? Or do I know how long I've been about, sleeping? About, about two hours. So it's about daylight. So you guys are you guys are shooting for four hours. You we're gonna do two hour shifts. You were right at the edge. It might be time to, you know, make a little bacon, uh, make a little biscuit. Wait okay, I'll um I'll I'll put out the fire. Okay. And then um that, that's good, folks. Never leave a campfire. Smoky. That's right. The bit the bit. Um I'm gonna wake up Man Fang. <laughs> That's that that would be my first choice. <laughs> Dr. Fang. Dr. Yeah, this, Fang MD. This cannot possibly go wrong at all anymore. Uh Man Fang, you wake up. Oh man. You were really in the middle of a good sleep. Oh. Oh, man, man oh. thing, we got we got serpent, we got ser uh, serpents. Uh, the sun's coming up, but the opposite. Wake up, copious, but like you know, wake him up. Man Why can't you do it? Let me go back to bed. Yeah, I like the fact <laughs> that he woke up, man thing, so he can go wake up, copious. <laughs> go, boy, go. <laughs> uh, man thing, I'm gonna need a constitution check. Uh, let me get up my special vibe. They're like my special, my, my special brain. I'm very special. <coughs> Just roll by 20. Yep. And add your constitution bonus, which is really pretty high. I think it might be a four. My constitution. Where is my constitution? Probably going to see. Yeah, I think I see that one. That's a plus three. So that is a 15. Uh, you know what? You're, you're a quasi morning person. You're. Blinking, waking up, and uh, the incessant babbling of Haggis causes you to start over. <laughs> Please say that again. My so there's a there's a serpent there's a serpent and he and he's riding on a pony I think and then uh, the sun's coming up from the east. The, yeah, Chinese telephone. <laughs> Chinese telephone. <laughs> Well, Unfortunately, um, we have our best on this. <laughs> all right, gonna die in your sleep. <laughs> I guess I'll stand up and just put my hands on my hips and just look to where he's pointing. Is he, are you pointing? Yeah. So there's a guy running towards us, and he just got off the pony. Maybe a slight accident. You know. Howdy, neighbor. <laughs> I'll say howdy, neighbor. Co uh, man, okay. Fang, can you wake up copious for me? <laughs> I'll wake him up. I'm waking up. That's I'm gonna true. go watch the rider who's right. running towards us. What do I got from a distance? Why can you wake him up? Uh, you notice that the rider is running. The pony is nowhere to be seen. Apparently, it's probably got a broken leg and needs to go to the glue factory. Uh, the illumination is very, very bright, and it's just getting brighter. Man, Fang, go ahead and give me. Uh, 
perception check. Pretty perceptive guy myself, I think. That is a, I say 19. Ooh, a 19. How about that? Nice. Uh, good news. Leaf, Copious, and Felix. No haunting of dreams. You guys are just out. It's just you're on gossamer wings. Everything is gorgeous. If Man, anything, you should be thanking us. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah, you're letting <laughs> them sleep in. Man Fang, uh, with your uh, draconian ears, you are starting to pick up the muffled yell. And uh, this individual who, despite your best wave, let's see if he spots you. Uh, no, he doesn't spot you with a seven. Uh, he's just running, just headlong. And you can hear him yell, Agon. Agon? Agon. Agony. He's in pain. Let's help him. Well, let's not help him. But he seems a little on the mental side. We already have enough of that. that so. sure. We should just let the is guy go, like, you know? Is this Doc, English? Do I Doctor, English? It's in Halfling, but it's in common. Dr. Fang, you also notice the serpentine creature <laughs> as well. It's just bursting out of the illumination on the horizon. Uh, as the man gets closer... Uh, you and Haggis, go ahead and roll one more perception check because he's really hauling the mail. 11. 17. Yeah, Haggis, you, you, you know, it's early. You're a little tired. Oh, you had to pull a watch, man. Uh, but uh, Dr. Fang, MD. Dragon. Dragon. <laughs> no. You can hear it clearly, and as you look up at this serpentine figure with the wings uh, coming up out of this ball of infinite flame, you think, oh, dragon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what hey, would you two dragon. like to do? You know that? It's a dragon. You see that? He's my friend. He's my cousin. His name's Gertrude. You have a dragon? <laughs> and yeah, at that yeah, moment in time, right a serpentine creature comes down out of the sky and exudes a jet of flame baking the hillside and all you see is the burnt skeleton of the runner fall to the ground and the <laughs> dragon descends on the hill a scant hundred yards away and rips in to the charred flesh. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get down. Like, yeah, let's, let's, get, let's get down. Let's get down. And I'm going to army crawl over to Copious. And tell are, are, <laughs> Man, Fang, Man Fang, were you doing this? Don't you want I to was doing this that? until I saw the dragon eat it. <clears throat> oh, okay. okay. I, yeah, hang on. Let me make that adjustment there. Oh, okay. <laughs> so you guys uh, low crawl over to Copious and <laughs> attempt to wake him up, I assume. I'm, I'm gonna keep. Wake up fast I'm gonna stay it. down. I'm gonna stay down in the dirt. You know, we get really muddy, and but I'm gonna keep watching this. this I'm going to whisper right in his ear. There's a dragon. There's a dragon. Can I notice if it's a female or a male? What the dragon? Uh, can't yeah. tell from this. Uh, <laughs> it's on a hillside, so you know, all, all the the naughty bits are covered up from the view. Uh, Copious, go ahead and give There's me a, a wisdom giant thing. black bar in the way. Wisdom check. Wisdom check. A uh, twelve. Uh, you know, a dragon was not part of this dream. What are? You, yes. why, why? Why do? You, somebody is waking you up, uh, and you see, man, thing. There's a dragon <laughs> <laughs> right in your grill. He's probably will just like slap the. He, there is a dragon in my grill. Dragon Man, so he'll probably right. just slap at his face, push him away. Sure. He slaps me, I'm throwing him towards the dragon. I'm just kidding. Roll, roll him down the hill like yeah, a Roll ball. him down the hill. Uh, Haggis, you're still sucking dirt, I assume. Well, I just want to see this dragon. Like, what's it? What's it doing? What's it, it look is like? Ripping the man's head off. It appears to have crimson scales. How, how big? How big is this thing? Like, if it's you had to, oh, huge, dude. Feet, maybe. 18 feet long, maybe 16 feet. Long. 150 to 170 uh, freaking hit points. Mm -hmm. That's not that many. Yeah, <laughs> not that many, all right. Uh, you can still hear a leaf and Felix. Uh, 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 oh, Griselda. I'll still respect you in the middle of Griselda. <laughs> oh, no, Griselda. No. The dice aren't the only things loaded to Griselda. <laughs> 
So uh, you can see Man Fang and Copious having a tussle. Uh, Haggis, you want to do anything else? I, I guess I should break them up, you know? Okay, so you <laughs> crawl on over, the three of you. Uh, Leaf and Felix, give me con checks, please. We're getting real close, so we just one firing <laughs> loud, and we all just die. Nine. Felix, uh, whatever dream about Griselda you're having is just phenomenal. Leaf, Jesus Christ, who is making all the racket? You uh, sit up and you see Fang, Haggis, and Copious embroiled in some kind of three-way sissy slap fight going on, and you have no idea what the hell is going on. Off to the east. The sun is rising. Tick tock, boys. That's not the sun. It's an imposter. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, a fake sun. Leaf will go with you first. Let's see what's going on. Hmm. What's all the hubbub? You There's a dragon. Stand up and walk over there. <laughs> uh, I will. Okay. Hey, uh, I, I, hey I'm just going to stand up as well. Hey, I'm going to uh, point. Well, hang on. <laughs> Leaf, as, as you get up and begin to wander over, you can tell that the zonkeys and the giant chickens are going ballistic. Uh, there is something wrong. I'm going to look around at that. Give me, give me an investigation check, please. Two, that's 18. Uh, yeah, uh, you see the sun is rising at the 10 o'clock position and the 3 o'clock position, and... Out in the meadow, because you guys are in a copse of trees, you see a large crimson dragon uh, devouring the rib cage of some kind of humanoid creature. Over to Copious, uh, you have successfully smacked Dr. Fang MD uh, for waking you up in a rude, insolent, and angry manner. What would you like to do next? Did I decipher any of what he was trying to tell <laughs> in the course of the slap fight? Give me a perception check. Uh, uh, 17. As you hit him, you hear the word drag, and then you follow through and you hear gone, drag, gone, drag it. Okay. Um, so before I slap him again, I will take a pause and look around. Is Haggis here with us as well? Yeah, he's low crawling towards you. It looks like they're going to, I don't know, try and beat the crap out of you or something. So I see the halfling low crawling. I see Leaf standing there looking at the animals going crazy. All right. Uh, can I, do I need to make a perception roll or investigation check to, to look around? Or can I look around and see the dragon eating the something off of the other in the meadow? If you follow Leaf's gaze, you will see the dragon about 100 yards away in the meadow. And can we tell what color it is yet? From Looks the... crimson. Hmm. Not coppery. Uh, red. Anything red. I think red. it's fire. Anything red. Bad. Bad, 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 bad. So I'm going, I, I'm small, I assume, and you said we're still in the copse of trees. It's eating something. I'm going to try to get over towards Leaf, and I'm going to ask Leaf as quietly as I can if he... Uh, since Robert's not readily available and seems in his own world, mm -hmm. he has a silent spell or anything of that nature. To use on that? No, to use on us and the animals. So charm. they don't hear us. The charm spell? Silence. Oh, silence spell. I'm sorry. I yeah. That. I want to say no. And I don't know what the radius is on it, but I'm. If the animals are starting to go nuts, I'm worried that the dragon's going to uh, hear us. I think. I think what we need to do is start heading out to the other side of this copse of trees to get away from it. The quicker we get moving, the better. The quicker the animals will calm down. But we need to start moving now. No horsing around. No, Griselda. I'll still respect you in the morning. It's fine. You and I and Buttercup will live happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> we'll lead the way we'll let buttercup come last wait 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 here's a hear me out we start to lead the way but we leave one of the chickens 
on the edge of the copse of trees. Because we have three and we don't need We have them. three. And we head the other direction. That's weird that it went out that way. Yeah, we can do that too. Yeah. Uh, the dragon has just finished the last leg of whatever creature was running towards you. You can hear Felix mumbling to himself, uh, boxcars. Oh, snake eyes. Oh. <laughs> I'll put my hand over Felix's mouth and wake him up. By the way, those are safe words for Felix. So Felix, that- your dream has changed dramatically as you go back to the pink house. I was going to say that. <laughs> uh, your, Is he going to uh, roll over on all fours now? Your terrorized no, I'm going to try look. to mumble my safe word. <laughs> Uh, you notice it is Leaf holding your mouth. Uh, I would imagine you are smart enough to realize something is amiss. Uh, Wait a minute, stop right there. Just for a second, in this party? Come on. <laughs> well, he just woke up. He, he's not having to roll dice yet. Uh, at this moment in time, Anybody still keeping an eye on the giant red worm? Here's or sees its head tip back and it gives off a mighty roar. This causes the zonkeys and the giant chickens to go ape shit. I will roll this die, the orange for the zonkeys, uh, and the green die for the chickens. This is to see if they remain tethered. The zonkeys are well-trained. With a nat 20, they remain on their tether. With an eight, the giant chickens use their beaks to peck through the bindings and take off. Uh, One to two, they stay together. Three to four, they scatter to the four winds. Five or six, two of the three run the same direction. Four wins it is. <laughs> All of the chickens take off running, breaking through the copse of trees. The red worm ah, focuses in and notices that it has disturbed poultry. Uh, and it launches itself straight up into the air and begins to swirl uh, as any apex predator would. You guys are under the cover of the Cops of Trees, ergo not readily seen. However, uh, that does put Dr. Fang and Robert of Zeppelin in a little bit of a bind. What would you like to do now? Well, you know, I'm resistant to everything. You know. I, I, yeah. I will, I'm going to tr- tell whoever. I'll transform and go. I know one well, of the chickens. Well. Run- <laughs> whale turn into a dragon a whale uh, turn into a whale and smash the dragon yes <laughs> the whale is the ultimate <laughs> you can go on top of it as a whale and then whale form and you can yeah, crush I'll, it I'll, I'll whale. <laughs> the whale is the apex predator <laughs> in this entire thing if you turn into one we would be there already at the place yes <laughs> do this I think they think I'm going to turn into the four of bars here or something yeah no, and you guys can no. just slide down my scales. Yeah. No, it'll be like that one scene in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy where the whale is falling from the sky. And he's just thinking about what is life? They're is, not thinking that far ahead. They're just literally thinking of like a sperm whale being an apex predator. Mm-hmm. On land. Yeah. In oh. a meadow. <laughs> All I would be would be this week's lunch. Yeah, you're distracting. I'm just, I want to turn into a fast cat and Chase one a herd of, try to herd a couple of those chickens back this way. Wait, hey, can or at I least one of them? Can I say something to Leaf before he does that though? Yes. Uh, so they all they went three different directions. And right. The dragon circling above yeah. uh, waiting. So if all of a sudden you go to chase one down, <laughs> he's there. One Robert has an empathic connection. To these chickens, can he is Robert, the chicken lord. Yeah. He is the chicken lord. Can he attempt to at least gain control of one chicken that starts to bolt? 
You know what? Uh, noting his penchant for being able to roll so high, I will allow it. However, we have to decide which one of us is going to roll the D20 to see if his powers are real or if his powers were just temporary. So who, including myself if you want, who do you want to roll the D20? You know, I could always. Leaf. Leaf. I nominate Leaf. I nominate Leaf as well. That's two. I nominate Leaf. I'll vote Leaf. I nominate Can I get any pluses on this? Nope. Straight up D20. 17. Uh, much like Aquaman on land, <laughs> Robert <laughs> Jesus Christ. summons his powers. Don't tell him. Just don't tell him. Well, you know, we, we kissed Copius's ass for most of the first part. Yeah, so we you gotta, got a good we gotta give Frank a we gotta give Frank a shot. So he finds the third one. Uh the uh dragon is focusing on the third one? Is it the third one? Third one. God. Third one. Of course uh, it is. So Frank or Robert. And the chicken returns full bore. Robert. Huh? 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 Uh, peering up through the leaf canopy, you notice uh, the dragon has watched this bird return to its safe haven and is going to go down. Uh, a loud thud is heard, and through the trees, you see the creature has landed, rears back, woof, and sends flame into the trees. Now, <clears throat> let's see how bad this gets. In theory, oh, it's a good plan. <laughs> it was a great plan. Yeah, the dice, dice give it, dice take us away. This looks good on paper. One, the cone of flame is coming at you guys. Two, the cone of flame is coming at Robert's chicken. Three, it's headed for the zonkeys. And four, it's just going to burn down trees. How far away is he? You're in a cop. Uh, he's about 20 yards away. Can, just now that he's landed, mm -hmm. um, can any of us take a roll nature check just to see if we understand, like, is this a Ancient red dragon, a wormling. Adult red dragon, right? I will I will take an arcana check. Hey dad. 17 from mine, but I, I don't know nature craft worth it. 23. Uh Leaf and Copius noticed that it is not a wormling. It is not an ancient. It might be an adult. Or it might be a young. Uh, I'm gonna go with young. It doesn't seem big enough. If it's only 18 feet long, it is only about 18 feet long. So uh, number four would be uh, it burns down the trees. Uh, there's gonna be a whole lot of light because every tree in front of you <gasps> ignites. Uh, so between you, the zonkeys, the chicken. Wall of Flame, big honking dragon on the other side. Let's start with initiative. Uh, and you guys are not close enough for melee. You might be close enough for spells, but let's uh, let's go ahead and get this organized a bit. So everybody roll initiative. Six. Eight. Did you say six, Leaf? No, I said six. Oh. 16. I have 14. And Felix? One. <laughs> well, get it out early, I suppose. <laughs> yeah, let's go. 16, Leaf, uh, you have been intent on this creature's habits. You go first. <clears throat> the trees have gone up like kindling. Uh, you are in a deciduous forest, uh, not conifer. So no evergreens. Yep. But uh, these leafy canopies are gone. And uh, dollars to donuts, that creature is going to be able to see you once the flames start to die down. Okay. They were still sucking. Damn it. 
You know, if you had a, you know, if you were a six level spell cast. Was it take a 19 to hit him? Uh, not quite. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and throw a spell then. Sure. Might as well piss him off to start with. I'm sure we can't run away now that he has a chicken to eat. He has fried chicken not getting ready to happen here. Well, the, the chicken was not its target, so the it's burning down the forest to get to the chicken. Um, could I speak? Less we can, yeah, how, what, I don't know how thick this forest is. Is it a possibility, looking around, for us to head the other way with the zonkeys now? <clears throat> it is a, a small copse of trees, so it's not really a forest per se. It's just a say a hilltop covered in trees you could go the other way if you so desired keeping in mind that felix rolled a one so he is almost certainly last <laughs> well shit happens i mean that's be a hero donate yourself <clears throat> somebody can ride my zonkey i can turn this is not well, a... now robert has his chicken so the only one uh yeah. needing uh, support is Dr. Fang, MD. MD. He can, he, ride, he can ride my zonkey. I can turn. What do you want to turn into? Uh, a whale? Yeah. A war uh, horse? Uh, well, I was thinking war horse. like an orca. <laughs> Just keep in, keep in mind one thing, though, Leaf, as we're talking about this. Robert Robert's not going to give up his chicken. He's going to try to attack that. I know. Dog. You might as well cast your spell. Hey, Dad. Yeah. You attack the I'm going to throw a spell. I mean, we're not going to get away from this damn thing. It's, I think it's intended that we have to fight it. Yes, I just, it is. I just kind of have this feeling. <laughs> he, says, he says he'd throw copious in the direction of the flames. I figured that he to might. Distract to distract the dragon. <laughs> he's dead. He's an ass. <laughs> Even when he's not playing. Hey, the good news is if Robert were here, this dragon might be, shall we say, <clears throat> substantially harder to defeat. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, you have to lead the dragon back towards the uh, special... You already tell him he already did. And have the uh, dragon burn back towards the end. Tell him it's his fault the dragon knows where they're at. It's your fault. Uh, oh, well. <laughs> okay. What spell are you going to throw at it? Lightning bolt. Ooh, good, good call. Uh, not that good, though. What am I saving against? Because that's a 16. Uh, you got to roll over a 16, right? Uh, I don't know, but uh, what's the uh, modifier I'm looking at? Dex. Oh, yeah. 17. Okay. So I'll get half. Hey, good news. Half, and I'm going to roll nothing but hobos. <laughs> That's 11 on the first two. That's pretty good. I'm liking it. I got six more to go. Murder hobo dice. They've got to be loaded. That's an 80. That's 19 total. Nine. 28. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Right. I'm still using these. The greenies. Nice. You know, I do not have any green ones in this pile. And that's 10 more. So 38? Yep. Five by half. That was 19. Let's go on. What the hell it is now? You have gotten its attention. Yeah, I pissed it off. Uh, Haggis, you are up next. Uh, you have seen uh, the druid unleash the fury of nature upon this creature and seen that it has connected. <clears throat> Okay, I'm gonna draw back my arrow and shoot it, but the 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 big bow, you know, <laughs> the big bow that was stolen at the like, roadhouse. Oh yeah, he's shooting that just like a gun, you know. Yeah. <laughs> All right, gangster. Go Side ahead, away. go go ahead there, Get gangster in that sucker. Um, sixteen. Uh, it does not hit. Isn't that okay. a plus plus two bow? It is. Okay. Oh. And is that plus, an 18? Plus yeah. two to hit though, is it? An 18, an 18 is good enough to hit. Okay. Um, 18 is your magic number. Man. 
I think that's... Yeah, 15? Damage? Oh, yeah. Really nice. That's pretty nice. Okay, six. The creature enters the charred woods, knocking over the burning trees uh, with ease. It, much like Dr. Fang, but in reality is immune to its own fire, uh, storms in. Let's see if the zonkeys... Uh, the zonkeys stand fast. They are not going anywhere, so they're either paralyzed in fear or they're the bravest thing in here. That leads us to the eight copious. Uh, your associates have successfully attacked the creature, but it is coming in for melee. Uh, Copious is going to try to take <clears throat> two things. One, he's going to ask Robert if Robert will help keep the, <clears throat> the animals' tethers together so that they don't run away. Uh, and then two, Copious is going to summon a face spirit this turn uh, that will manifest, again, looking like Phineas the Trek. Um, and then we'll have the face spirit it will uh, melee the dragon while Copious uh, starts walking backwards the opposite direction from the, the dragon. Sure. Uh, there's no save on the celestial spirits, is there? No, it's actual melee. It's sword, sword, sword attack. Uh, and it missed with both. How badly? It's not, um, not critically? No, 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 no. It's, I'm trying uh, like nine and 12 or something like that. Gotcha. Uh, Dr. Manfang, uh, two of your associates have been uh, superior in combat. One of them, not so much, uh, but he didn't get hit. So he's in the bonus round. What do you want to do? I don't know what I want to do. You okay. should speak to it in friendly terms. My brethren, how art thou? Let me get within melee range of you. Exactly. Come over here so we can talk like friends. Here is my it's guy in burn friendship. your ass up, dude. Here is my friendship. Pow, pow. I I, I guess I'll shoot a bow and arrow. Uh -oh. Go ahead. All right. You got Copious backing up. He looks like a prime target. <clears throat> no, I didn't roll good enough. I didn't hit it. Oh, wait, I got two, right? Or is it only melee? It's only melee. Oh, then I missed. Okay. Uh, Felix, uh, the you've uh, shaken the sand out of your eyes. You're ready to go. You see that Buttercup uh, and her uh, kin are standing steadfast for you while the chickens are... Bark, 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 bark. <laughs> but only oh, one yeah. of them because only one was recalled by Robert and Zeppelin. Uh, since the dragon is attacking other people, I think I'm eligible to sneak attack, correct? You are indeed. Awesome. Oh, oh baby. 19 plus 3. That 22 hits. to hit. That hits. 5 plus 4. Remember, boys and girls at home, uh, ranged attacks work great rather than melee. This 18 round. damage. Wow, you guys are really chewing it up. Yeah, we need to chew a lot faster. <laughs> That's 52 hit points in the first round. Kudos to you guys. Yeah, four more rounds. We'll have it dead. Robert will uh, continue to uh, chicken wrangle. And uh, that brings us to the top of the order with Leaf. Okay. All right. Well, for my next act, I'm going to make the dragon disappear. No. No, Open up my sleeve. I need a new hat. <laughs> that one. Let's see, what is that? <laughs> okay. I'm going to cast uh, Call Lightning and create a storm over him. Do I need a save or no? Yes, that's a deck save again, I believe. <laughs> Not this time. That's an eight. Wonderful. I like that. That's uh, a die 10. Now keep in mind the dragon has entered melee range on some of you. Oh, wait, is that including me? 
that would be you and Copius and Phineas Lutrec. Perfect. <laughs> then I will I will center this storm in such a way that he is on the fringe of it. Okay. Okay. The the front fringe, I assume. Yes, yes. That is seven. And that is nine is sixteen and <coughs> six is twenty-two. Let's see. I think that's it. Twenty-two. Uh yeah. Seventy-two? Or seventy-four rather, sorry. No, twenty-two. Right. Oh, you mean that's that's how many we've I'm sorry. So, I thought you now. thought I, I did seventy four and I was gonna Oh yes, I did. Uh, no, Haggis, you're up. Uh, the dragon is coming through. Uh, there is a storm brewing over its head. However, you've seen this before. You know that Leaf is conjuring up something. Uh, but the dragon is coming after you guys pretty angrily. So, um, could I? It is who's it focusing on? It is going to focus on. <laughs> You nine. <laughs> it likes halfling. It has a taste of halfling. Okay. okay. I got it. It's, I got it's it. watching its weight. It doesn't want to consume too much. That's fair enough. You know, it's on Weight Watchers. It's on. Yeah. yeah. It can have a halfling at breakfast and a halfling at lunch and then a whole <laughs> meal like an orc at dinner. <laughs> It is the morning. Um, it is being ridden by Marie Osmond. <laughs> what? So, uh, Osmond, don't sue me for bringing in them, bringing them into the devil worshiping game. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I'm gonna Photoshop Marie on the back of a dragon though. Now, I'm going to. You want to just copy my tattoo? <laughs> Cat. <laughs> I'm gonna cast. I thought that was Eartha Kit. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Ask that woman. Right. So I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna make sure that I get in good sort of range. That's you know, its face is coming at me, and I'm gonna cast Acid Splash. Yeah, very I nice. can do that with my breath. You're not special. I can do that with my face. Um. So uh, you have to Dex. The deck uh, no, that's four. That's fourteen. So my, yeah, my rolls have gone cold. Good. The so dragon's hot. It's the dragon's turn. Wait. Wait, I'm screaming at Haggis. Don't ruin the pelt. Don't ruin the pelt. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm gonna go. You know what? I, I I'm focusing on Haggis. So he's going to get the claws. Uh, if I roll Haggis again, it's just going to be the claws. If I roll somebody else, this thing's going to snap. Thing's going to snap. At the little one, Copious. <laughs> so uh, two claws on Haggis. You are in deep shit trouble. Oh, plus 10. Okay. Uh, 26 and 25. Do those hit, Haggis? Hi. <laughs> um, they do. Hey, hey, but Haggis, yeah. you're a rogue. Um, <laughs> I, uncanny dodge. Yeah. yeah. So uh, let's see if I also hit <laughs> Copious at plus 10. Uh, 14. I rolled a four. No. So uh, only claws. Uh, again, the rolls. Ouch. I could have. Oh, holy shit. Uh, 2d6 plus six per claw. So let's get some murder hobo dice out here. <clears throat> uh, so take 12 plus. Uh, well, there's one murder hobo. Uh, 22, 23, 27 hit points of slashing damage. You can uh, take half of, uh, give me odd or even. Uh, 
Pogus, give me odd or even. Um, that is odd. You can uncanny dodge uh, 14 of those points. Okay. So take seven and then take 13, take 20 damage, slashing. <gasps> oh. Uh, blood from Haggis Crab Stain <clears throat> skitters across the battlefield. Guys, uh, we have a situation. <laughs> copious. Uh, a look of horror hits you as all you see is snap right at your face. <laughs> Uh, okay. it's so close you can smell the half wing on its breath. <laughs> so that's pretty good. Um uh, okay. I'm going to uh hit it with Eldritch Blast. Okay. And uh one would be like twenty six. So yep. that would just some hits. 18 other, your magic. Yeah, and the other one misses. Okay. So for the one that hit, we did uh, 11 points of damage. Got it. And I'm going to Misty Step <laughs> as far away from the dragon off to the side as I possibly can. 30 feet you go. Uh, Robert, are you Wait. still busy or... The, the small fay because I didn't take damage do it he I didn't take damage so I didn't have to make a concentration check correct correct so the small fay is going to attack the dragon uh, the small fay I think it still missed you said 18 is the magic number yep yeah the small fay missed okay. but it should be irritating <clears throat> the dragon like nobody's business sure Robert uh, are you still busy working or did you want to jump in and I'll use dragon B I'll jump in. I'm done for the day. Give me your uh, initiative roll, please. Uh, Haggis, you got lucky because now the dirty damage 20. is really painful. Well, you Robert got... is a dirty 20. <clears throat> Robert, I'll let you go right now and then at the top of the order. Uh, you have quelled your chicken, but only one of them. Uh, do you want to release it and hope it remains and take on the dragon or get the F out of dodge? I'm going to take on the dragon. Well, I, I can hold on to it and do what I need to. I'm casting spells. Okay. Uh, it is kind of panicky, but go ahead. All right. I'm going to cast a spell. I'm rolling for wild magic. We're good. I got two. Okay, right, I'm three. All right, and now I'm going to cast Witch's Bolt at full power. Eighteen. Eighteen hits. And... The dragon looks a lot healthier right now, by the way. Thirty-six points of damage. Eh, it still looks pretty healthy. <laughs> uh, bringing us to Man Fang. Go, Booty Fang. Oh, I'll hit it. I'll hit it right in his face. I'll hit okay. it with my axe. Oh, you're meleeing. I'm in melee range. Oh, you're a brave little soul. Can I skin you when you die? Yeah, sure. Sure, we'll sure. Let's use uh, let's use brave. He's part dragon, so you know they have a connection. You have a connection. I'll try and I'll say I'm here to help, and then I'll hit him. We're here the to government. help. I'm We're here, here to help. help. We're here first. to help. First one. Remember, hit because it's 19 is critical. Well, I didn't get 19. Okay. Second one did not hit. Okay, damage. <laughs> that is a 12. Yeah. Not bad. Felix uh, and your mighty missiles, you're up. I will shoot another arrow, but I miss. Badly? Not badly. No, then okay. I would have said I hit. Because co copious move 30 feet. 
to one side. So yeah. Yeah, I didn't move miss that badly. I rolled a four. Gotcha. So Round... four four plus three, so a seven. Yeah, you missed. <laughs> Uh, round three begins with uh, Robert Zeppelin. Okay. We're going to cast again. Wild magic. Four. Three. <laughs> 22. 22 hits. What's that? Your hobo, more dice. When yeah, the okay. players get out more dice, you know they're serious. We got a big sack there. Hold on, I need. Now that that lightning bolt's my big dice spell, and every time I cast it, you save. So, yeah, well, still... I, I, did, I didn't save on Hoggins's though. It still does a lot of damage, but I want to do max damage. All right, are you ready? Oops, I got one too many. What do I get my cleric to level two? Woulda, coulda, shoulda. Yeah, if I live that freaking long, is that the proper way to say that? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, I'm going to say this. If I die in this battle, I want somebody to carve in my tombstone that picture of Copious. 22. 22? Copious, you're muted. That's well. crappy rolls. It, the murder dice failed me today. It, it's cute that you think they're going to bury you. Uh, go yeah. ahead, Lee. You're yeah. up. <laughs> uh, do, your deck, do your deck up. save again. I'm calling lightning down again. Uh, that's a 19 on the roll plus one. All right. It's 24 30. points, so half that. Uh, 12. Hey, he's, 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 he's biting. But this, this thing got arrows in it, by the way. It does. Oh, cool. So, uh, good news. Metal arrowheads, Robert. Uh -huh. um, we're going to breathe. Everybody. Can I hide behind a tree? Let's see. Uh, but let's see how this aims. Uh, so, one at a time, everybody roll D12. So, Leaf, roll D12. Six. Eleven. You are not in the blast. Now keep in mind, if I don't get any of you... Donkeys. Donkeys. <laughs> uh, Somebody's got to be a hero. Next, next one up, Robert. B12, Robert. Eleven. Man Fang. Eleven. Oh God. Copious. Uh, Copious is thirty feet away. Come on, man. Sink and spit away. that shit a hundred feet, man. What are you talking about? Uh, uh, Felix. Hey, no zonkeys. Ten. What buttercup roll? Hi, guys. Oh, roll for buttercup? <laughs> no. <Nope>. Three. <laughs> Eight. Uh, so, however, the flames are dancing. Uh, Copious, Manfang, and Haggis, give me a save versus Dex. Holy shit, is this big? <laughs> uh, Robert, I'm going to need to borrow some of your dice. <laughs> we got six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten extra dice. Come on, little Frank, roll big number. What is it possible to make this save on just a regular die 20? I just want to know before I tell you. What oh, I'm yeah. Doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. 18 for copious. You made it. <laughs> Man, oh, are you adding your roll to something? Uh, Dex. Dex save, Frankie. <clears throat> it's not good. Did you fumble? I got 24. <laughs> so half, half, and full. <clears throat> what is. I do not have enough dice, so I will oh. roll. <laughs> I, I, I will roll this twice. <laughs> oh my god! It's a How lot. many dice does it need? Sixteen d six. So the first roll. Chicken. 
<laughs> you know what? There are five ones on here. Oh, thank God. <laughs> and five sixes. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, let's do math. Five, ten, uh, 16, 19 for the first roll. Uh, second roll. I, I rolled a total of two murder hobos. That's That just seems bad. It seems great for me. I think it sounds pretty good myself. There were like, there weren't even that many in there when they opened it up. That is just piss poor, is what I'm saying. 47 hit points of flame damage, Fang. Uh, 23 damage, Copious and Haggis. You're like negative 20 something, Frankie. Am I? He said 47. I know. All right, is this healed back up? Yeah, it healed back up. Sorry. Oh, okay. Right off of pencil. So. so you said uh, 47 was the total, so half that? 23, yeah. 40, okay. Round down, 47 or 23. So you and August take 23. Find a pencil. Okay. Use a Sharpie because you ain't getting any better. <laughs> hey, uh, since his was a save, if he uses Uncanny Dodge, is Haggis it takes no damage? He still has to take half? It, it'll still be that. Okay. Uh, Van Fang, are you alive? Uh, yeah, I'm alive, just in a lot of pain. No shit. <laughs> He's going to grow up to be Freddy Krueger. Uh, it's star and now the fire. Uh, Haggis, did I let you go last time? He hasn't gone this round. Okay, go ahead. I, I went out of turn. Go ahead, Haggis. I, I run 130 feet away. <laughs> You muted yourself, Haggis. I'm going to draw my bow and fire. Sure. Um, oh, big number, big number. Um, natural 20. Nice. Damage, damage modifier. Uh, and that's why he breathed on you. Uh, four. Wait, if Haggis got... Didn't it 18. Lock the dragon's jaw shut, the arrow went right through his chin? Went through his eye. He's now pirate. Pirate yeah. dragon. So my, that'd be like 23. Uh, got it. Yeah. That thing's hurting. Uh, now we're back on track with eight. Uh, charred flesh fang, you're up. Come on, fang, do something. Wait, wait. What am I going to do? Thanks. Copious is first. Then oh, five. I'm sorry. Yeah, Copious is the eight. My apologies. Copious yeah, is the I'm eight. eight. Copious just grew back his hair. I just want to point that out. Well, maybe maybe you can give pointers to Man Fang. <laughs> uh, hit with one of the, the uh, blasts. Hold on a second here. I did uh, 14 points. Max. Wow. <laughs> How about uh, your Faye? Uh, he's rolling right now. Oh, did did you maintain concentration from the blast? Oh, I need to roll it. What's the uh, 10, 10 or better? Just a straight roll. 12. All okay, right. yeah, the Fey presence is still there. Uh, the Fey hit. Sweet, finally. And the Fey did let's see, six plus three. Five, eight. Mm. The Faye did 15 points of damage. Nice. Okay, Man Fang, uh, as smoke tendrils off your charred body, uh, it turns out you are not immune to flame. <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> You're muted. I'll check that off the list first and then run back to Robert. Uh, well, Robert's fighting the thing. Well, I'll run back away from the dragon. He's How's disengaging. That? I'm disengaging. Yeah. Fair enough. Uh, bringing us to the master of the Uno, Felix. Uh, yes. How close is everyone to me? Are they all really far away? Uh, you and Leaf are pretty much the, the furthest out. Uh, Copius is on a flank. Man yep. Fang is running for his life. Uh, the brave Sir Haggis, Sir Haggis of Crabstain, 
and Robert, Robert of Zeppelin are charging fearlessly in because they have something you don't, a lack of IQ. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to stay back then. Uh, let's shoot another arrow and hopefully I can hit it. it it's not doing so hot. Eh, well, it doesn't matter because I can't hit it with a nine. You cannot. It rings off one of its scales, bringing us to the top of the order. Round four, dirty 20, Robert of Zeppelin. Bomb, Bob. I'm healing man thing. Well, okay. man, yes. Four. Three. All right. I, I would have really approved of a fireball while you were healing. <laughs> that would have been priceless. <laughs> I'm going to drag him and I'll fireball him. 15 points. Oh, yeah. Okay. So that's 20. Is what I'm doing. One uh, breath, but you know. Leaf, you have observed uh, Man Fang retreating and getting the healing touch yep. from Robert. Uh, the Good dragon job. is not doing so hot. Guiding bolt, natural 20. Nice. Uh, four die six. Four die six. No. Second level or higher. Uh, six die six. Seven die six. Seven die six. Keep adding. That's hobo and a four, that's 10. Well, I'm trying to figure it out. I, some of these, it says that, but you got to be cast in a spell at fourth level, and that's what screws me up. It's 10, and that's eight, 18. And seven more is 25. Yeah. And one more. Hobo. A six, 31. 31. Radiant damage. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> uh, who's up? Oh, it's the dragon. <laughs> Wait, is it Haggis then the dragon, or is it the dragon then Haggis? You know what? Uh, you are correct. Haggis. You Come on, Haggis. Put him down, boy. Hero. Put I, him I, down. I, well said. Thank you for so, um, what's this... What's this dragon situation? How's it how's it feeling? It does not look good at all. Blood is dripping from multiple wounds. Who is it uh, focusing on? Uh, <laughs> if you had to narrow it down to one unlucky guy, who is it? I'd say the druid is probably uh, not long for this world. Okay, then I'm going to sneak attack. Okay. Please, I have, please uh, sneak attack. <laughs> um, 19. 19 does hit. Okay. okay. So it's a sneak attack, but I'm sneak attacking with two weapons. So what is that? I know so where you can shove the first one. Only affects <laughs> one attack. So, so the extra I... damage is only on one of the attacks. Okay. Not that it's going to matter. It might. No, it won't. <laughs> um, You're going to do more than three hit points of damage, right? So do I attack twice or do I? You attack twice. Okay. You, I know you hit once. Okay, that's eleven. Okay, yeah, it's it's gonna die. Okay, that's eleven okay. damage. I was gonna roll again. Uh, Leaf, uh, the dragon focuses its attention on you, and as blood drips from its fangs, uh, you hear it mimic off a silent scream uh, as you see Hagas come. Up and under to do the mastectomy <laughs> on the creature. Blood covers uh, the small halfling as the wound is egregious. The so dragon, he's coming out with his huge foreskin hanging behind him? <laughs> well, it gets worse because the dragon starts to teeter and it appears that it's going to fall. Everybody roll a d20 straight oh, up. Oh, my God. 17. Uh, 11. 19. 19. 16. Uh -huh. Felix. Felix. I thought it was far away. <laughs> you were, but this dragon has now turned into a uh, blue sperm whale. I knew uh, it. I knew it. I knew it. It was a whale the entire time. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it starts to tip over. You're going to need to make a deck save as the shadow of this creature looms large upon you. 
Who, no? uh, do, who no. all do I need to make one too? I wrote 11. Just him. It's just Felix. Felix. Okay. What is it, Felix? 12. Yeah, that's not going to do it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the great girth of the creature tumbles, uh, and you. Oh! <laughs> There's the hobos. Uh, you take 14 hit points of bludgeoning damage as this blue sperm whale red dragon lands upon you. Everybody else leaps out of the way but sees your archer is unable to bridge the gap and he is crying. I call Buttercup. <laughs> well, he's probably dead, so I'll take Buttercup. I got Buttercup. He's dead. You can see his arm and other legs uh, uh, flailing. He is going to need assistance or suffocate. Uh, Robert, there's a pony out there somewhere. He's got a limp, but I better go heal that pony. Wait, so, <clears throat> so the dragon's dead. It's clearly dead. It's not like twitching and might Oof. breathe fire or something on us, right? Now the the blood and icor is just oozing out, covering poor Felix, who Jesus. is flailing about. I'm gonna tell Robert. I said, Robert, this is a red dragon that breathes fire. If anyone needed to wear a suit of red dragon leather, it's you. How about yeah. you help me cut? A big section of yep. this off because we can't skin the whole thing. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, like, <laughs> clocks are ticking, guys. Come on. We'll pull Felix out at the same time. So you cut away that section for your, your suit of leather, and we'll pull Felix out. How about you pull Felix out first? Felix, take two more hit points of crush Damn it. Damn Come on. Screwing around. Oh, no. uh, Please. 19 on my skinning. Ah, very nice. Uh, give me a D4, please. Four. Uh, you have managed to cut an entire flank off. You are going to need one more piece in order to outfit your uh, voluminous body in red dragon leather if you can find a successful tanner and smith. Huh. So there are four strips to this dragon. Uh, one of them, and let me roll, is pretty damaged. Okay, so uh, you went for number four. Which one would you like to go for next? Two. Okay, go ahead. Natural 20. Nice. Unfortunately, I rolled a two. So as you skin it, it uh, expands and it looks like a sieve. So that's not going to work. I got a piece for you, Copious. <laughs> no, that could be some summer wear. You know, <laughs> ventilated. It's lacy. For a, a lady. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I need so, those size boots. You have two more pieces uh, that might be suitable. Go ahead and roll. I'm going for number three. Is, is, is Felix still dying? 18. Oh, okay. 18. Uh, congratulations. You have successfully skinned off two very lengthy pieces and allowed Felix to take another four hit points of bludgeoning damage as the waving grows weaker. <laughs> But uh, Robert skin him, so <laughs> of us are pulling Felix out now. Yeah. <laughs> Hide have come off this creature, so we should be able to lift lift enough to pull Felix out, right? Well, I don't know. Give me a strength. One of you give me a strength check to see if you could pull him out. Doctor yeah, Fang, man Fang do it. The big one. Yeah, man Fang. Man uh, Fang. Uh, hey, as your medical doctor, I wouldn't advise you straining just yet. He is a Part doctor. Be available. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Remember, lift with your back. That's the strongest muscle. Got it. La, 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 la. 19. Uh, Felix, roll under a 19. You know, one time I roll a damn 20. <laughs> what if I tie a 19? <laughs> oh, Jesus. You can take half damage. Damn it. Two more hit points. <laughs> the blood man, from that flanky grab slipped through his hands. Oh, man, man Fang, re-roll your strength. <laughs> hey, Felix, you're drowning at this point. I know. I can't believe that. <laughs> All right. That is 22. Roll under a 22, Felix. Please. 
19. Felix looks like Carrie after the prize. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's uh, good. He, his eyes are wide. He's gasping for air. Uh, meanwhile, Robert's like, well, that's two boys and girls. <laughs> so you're saying he looks like a skinny little hillbilly with long hair? Pretty much. Uh, well, he's got the mullet because business up front. Party uh, in the back. Yeah. Uh, Robert, uh, you want to go after the third intact piece? Yes. Ooh, I rolled a three this time. Hey, yeah. is, is this, uh, you ever hear, is this good eating? You, ne you never hear how good a red dragon tastes. Can I make a roll on Arcana to know if there's any part of a dragon that's particularly valuable for spell components? Like the oh, hawk. yeah, sure. Uh, it should be an easy roll for you, too. You how know bad. it's not. Oh, no, I got 19. Yeah, uh, you'll want the teeth, the eyeballs, uh, and fragments of the wing. Taking off, chopping off pieces of dragon. Uh, give me uh, three animal handling rolls. Uh, <laughs> Should have let Robert do it. Uh, four, <laughs> eight, okay. and 20. Uh, okay, you got the wing because that was pretty easy. Uh, try again for the other eyeball and try again for another tooth. 19 for the eyeball yeah. and 18 for a tooth. Okay, so you got one fang, one eyeball, and a piece of wing membrane. Felix looks around, completely shell-shocked. Dragon fell on me. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, Robert is hoisting these long strips of uh, dragon yeah. flesh. Good, uh, good luck getting that shit on one of them chickens. They get a whiff of that, and that'll be it. Oh, I was going to throw it on Buttercup because, you know, Felix died, right? Well, Felix smells like the Red Dragon. Uh, mm. Hannes, what are you doing? I kind of want a dragon tooth, you know? That would be kind of cool to have around here. Yeah, you can wear it around his neck. Yeah, that's a good yeah. point. I want to dig one out myself. Well, Go ahead. Go. Yeah. Animal, scare animal. Ourselves I'm not doing anything with the dragon because I feel like that'd be disrespectful. We slay the dragon. You want me to get you one, Haggis? My animal hang like okay, plus, yeah. plus, plus eight. That's a 19. So red dragon. And that's a 23. Sure. Yeah, you get two, uh, two of them. Here you uh, go, Haggis. Anybody else want a tooth? Hey, Leaf, why don't you heal? Haggis looks really torn up. And before uh, Dr. Fang tries to do something, could you maybe. Haggis, are you. You need healing? Haggis. Yeah. Is it illegal in, drag, in Dragonborn country for another Dragonborn to skill a skin a dragon? Yes, very. <laughs> no. I don't know. You can, you can ask the warriors that are surrounding you guys at this moment in time. Oh yeah, how's that um large? How's the imposter son? What's going on with that? The imposter son? East. Oh, the the oh. sun? Yeah, it's rising. The familiar figure of General Montoya and his pachyderm corps have arrived and have surrounded the area. He steps gingerly, still decked out in his attire. Oh boy. <laughs> and begins to look around silently. He eyeballs <laughs> each one of you. Uh, does he recognize us? Oh yeah. Of he does. Hello. Thank you. Thank you. Lee. How are you doing? Yep. It appears as though you have had uh, an issue. I'll look at him and I'll say, there's no issue. Everybody roll perception. Oh. High roll wins. Uh, 26. 16. Uh, 19, but I can't compete. I might have a low wisdom. 25. Ah. 13. He rolled a grapple roll to 26. He's high roll right now. Uh, I'll give 25 and 26 the benefit of the doubt. Uh, as Rodrigo encircles you guys with his hands behind his back, inspecting this problem, Leaf and Robert, you see a familiar indelibly etched in your face. Uh, you see a certain bounty hunter among the retinue 
Dalton is uh, there. With is a, she in bound or is she just on a? That's a good question. She and her associates appear to be helping the military. So Rodrigo asks, Felix. So my friend, you uh, uh, stink <laughs> because you are, of course, covered in dragon blood. Why, yes, I noticed that. I was not what sure if you noticed. You look dazed oh, and confused. Yeah. Well, a, a dragon just fell on me. So, yeah, I'm a little bit bloody. And uh, hold that thought. I'm going to reach into my bag and take a healing potion. Very nice. He reaches over, wipes underneath your eye. Oh, oh. That's a salty. So, yeah, I'm that's not the blood. <laughs> that's us. So, my friends, uh, it appears congratulations are in order. You have slain the beast that destroyed Smidgey's Roadhouse. Oh, really? Ah, oh, that's a shame. <laughs> yes, this creature came out of the mountains for some odd reason. I make sure to show off my, you know, my my tooth chain, dragon slayer. Add to my name. Oh, uh, okay, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that. Uh, I hear that their lairs are full of riches. Yeah, any you guys know where the dragon's lair is at? Now that we killed it, I would assume it came out of the peaks. So apparently, perhaps the peaks is where it called itself domicile. There's a hat. Robert and Leaf, you can tell that Dalton is, shall we say, not amused, uh, but does not appear to be pointing out the fact to anybody that you guys are. She doesn't want to share that reward money with the... Uh, Without an insight yeah. roll, that would be a safe bet. And Skippy. <laughs> Well, with, with all that, we successfully killed the dragon. We're going to make yeah. our way. We're on, a, we're on a pretty good tight shift, you know? I'm going to tell him, look, uh, we're going to cut a few steaks off here. You guys are welcome to whatever you want, what's left. I'm going to go ahead and commence to hacking off some meat to take with us. You should enunciate a little bit clearer because <laughs> I, I heard hacking off meat. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Rodrigo, uh, as as his retinue are, are duly impressed with your feet. Uh, you guys have, have slain a big ass dragon. I mean that that's not something that happens all the time, especially in Dungeons and Dragons. Uh, in spite of what uh, anybody says or what the name says. So he is duly impressed. His three pachyderm uh, are keeping a distance. Uh, Robert, roll d12 against me twice, please. First roll, seven. Eight. Second roll, Ten. 12. Uh, one of your chickens returns. The Yay! other one does not. You have two chickens. Oh, me too. So you're, you're only down one. Uh, General Montoya, uh, again, duly impressed uh, with your performance, uh, says, this calls for a celebration. We shall go to Raglan. Oh, <laughs> That's the no. way we're going. No. That thought. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to make a pit stop real quick. Yeah. So, Copius, <laughs> first off, Copius is going to cast Minor Illusion to make his clothes look like they're not half singed off and maybe look a little bit like the general's outfit. 
And then he's going to, to tell the general, <clears throat> said, we actually need to go to Triorki uh, to meet with a potential business partner because Copius struck that deal, that licensing agreement in Triorki. Mm -hmm. He's mm -hmm. going to tell the general he needs to be in Triorki to finalize those arrangements. It could cost the whole bidder's company quite a bit if he doesn't finalize that. So it's really imperative. But then we will happily travel to Raglan Tower as soon as our business in Triorki is completed. It shouldn't take more than a day. And we'll celebrate the death of this evil dragon that we killed because despite Felix's Noam de Gur, we are heroes. Uh, Felix is a hero. Read it, please. The hero. <laughs> That's right. Zero. Per persuasion roll, Copius. I will roll against you. Uh, persuasion was 22. Surely your business can wait. This is a monumental moment. Please note that his men have already moved in and they are dismembering the head. I'm going to look at this men dismembering the head and say, um, could you be careful with that? I'm, I'm planning on mounting that at the Cold of Old Bitter's mansion. So please, if you just make sure that that's, uh, I'll, I'll come and get it from you in Raglan once we're done. Did, did he say he was going to mount the head? Is that what I heard him say? Oh, yeah. Oh. Is, that what, is that what I think he meant? Yes, it yeah. is. No, no, no. That's exactly what he meant. Nice going, boys. I, you know. Uh, gonna, whoever said that, I'm going to whisper to him. He's a gnome, dumbass. <laughs> uh, they are going to continue to hack the flesh off, noting that there is a substantial lack of eyeballs, uh, and they will crack through the spine in quick order. Uh, before dealing with the rest of the flesh on the face. Uh, again, uh, General Montoya, no, 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 no. I insist. You must come to Raglan. You must come now. Uh, this monumental event, it, bards will sing about it for oh. years. Yeah, we, well, we have a bard. I'm on a mission from <laughs> I don't have we time to get. He looks at Copius and says, my friend, you are a hero. You are the best among us. You must come to Raglan. What? Well, I agree with you. I understand this was big for you, but this is this is like Tuesday for us. So, <laughs> anybody else want to uh, try and get out of going to Raglan, which is? Dude, what if what if half of us go to Raglan, the other half go uh, to I, I I'm not going to Raglan. Yeah, I'll, I, I'll, I'll go, to Raglan. go to Raglan. The priestess says I must return. I must return now. Okay. Uh, Dalton overhears <laughs> Triorki. Triorki. Uh, We're meeting them in Triorki. Uh, uh, Dalton overhears Mancha de Verda August yeah. and, <laughs> and says Generalissimo. I think that is a fine idea. You should let half of them go <laughs> conduct their business, and the other half should come with us to Raglan. I think at least having half of them would be a significant boon for them, as well as you, Generalissimo. Uh, no, the priestess much, says all. Much, much like Copius, uh, Generalissimo is eating that up. Because uh, he wants, uh, he wants a little flash here. Uh, that is a good idea. I will accept half. And as he looks at Hagas, and he goes, "You can come." <laughs> Wait, Copius wants to try one last thing with the general. So Copius is going to go up, all sincere, and say, "You know, General, this dragon. It seemed to us that maybe the dragon was damaged before we attacked it." Because we certainly by ourselves could never have done it. I mean, certainly you, Generalissimo, with your men, have the ability to bring down such a beast. But us, without it being injured, we certainly couldn't have done it without. So wouldn't it be better if you present the beast by yourself without someone stealing any of that limelight that you so richly deserve because you weakened, you loosened the lid of the jar. We just finished it off. 
D12 against me. Birds of a feather flock together. 11. 6. Where, uh, where would you be going after Triorki? Well, we've talked about visiting the eastern coast. The eastern coast is very pretty this time of year. That's what we've been told. And it's very far from Raglan. Uh, Leaf and Robert, you see Dalton. I think I understand. We understand. You and I understand. I like how you think, my friend. I like how you dress. Look, we're very similar. If you're ever in Thornhill, and he, he, he tells you exactly where to go. <clears throat> you know what? I have made a decision. You shall keep your appointment in Triorki. And you shall enjoy the eastern coast, because this time of year, it is beautiful. It really yeah, is. It really is. We will go ahead and <laughs> sing tales and praise of your job here. Uh, and we will take the head uh, to Raglan. We will send it to your home later. Could you uh, mention ha uh, Crabstein? Uh, he's a... He, he, Kopi has just fed him exactly what he needed to hear. <laughs> <laughs> Would anybody like to say, <clears throat> whoa, I'll go to Raglan. No. 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 I'm load my zonky and get on it head now. Hey, man, Fang, why don't you roll an intelligence check? Are you serious about that? Are you serious? No, There's I'm still just... a dragon here. <laughs> I'm so fine. I'll roll it. I'll roll it because it would be funny. Man, he's out to get you today. He's always out to get me. What, is, what do I roll? Just a dice give funny. it. Dice take it away. Your intelligence. <laughs> or minus your intelligence. That is a six. No, not a six. Minus uh, three. A five. Is that with the minus three? Mm -hmm. Man Fang <laughs> speaks up and says, I will attend the Raglan Festival because I would like it to... Uh, with the accolades of the people. Hey, shut him up. No! No! So, my no! Oh, no! Oh, that is an excellent oh, idea. Oh, 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 you oh, should oh, go. Oh, God has not healed your oh, mind yet. So oh, 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 my mind is strong. My what? mind is strong. He is ugly for the crowd. How can he mind be in the crowd? Focus is going to cast Charm on Dr. Fang. Uh, wisdom yeah. save, uh, man, Fang. He's a dragon. Let's see if I can get an amazing wisdom save. I wanted to cast Charm. Oh, no, I didn't. Oh. Charm? He's part dragon. Oh, wisdom. Well, I didn't do it. It's a nine. Without right. anything. And you are currently charmed by Copius, who says, Dr. Fang, I, there is a medical emergency. They are waiting on the coast for you to attend to. Your expertise is strongly desired on the coast. Remember you promised to teach that special trick you have with treating everything damp. amputations. You know, yeah. I, I'm seeing yeah. Cannonball Run 2 with Dom DeLuise. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I must. I must go. He's Captain Otherwise. Chaos. Felix, uh, across the way, you see Dalton. <laughs> <laughs> she's winking at you to let you know she lied to you. She's interested in you. Uh, wipe some of this blood off my face here. Uh, she speaks up. Generalissimo, uh, I don't think you need us uh, to attend this event. Uh, I think my fellow companions and I will take our leave. I'm going to speak up. Generalissimo, I think it's very important that these other fine witnesses go with you, you know, to reaffirm your kill. He's yes. 12 against me. Maybe don't let me down. 12. Ah. Three. You know, the more voices that way, it's not just the soldiers under your command. Yeah, it's the people. It's the people of the people. 
The elf speaks Please, through. I, I, I need a disinterested third party to assist and to go ahead and proclaim the uh, honors so deserved by this uh, troop of six. Absolutely. Absolutely. And for, as we know, it was them who brought the bards to us. Mm-hmm. That sadly were burnt up in the fire. Sadly. <laughs> Okay, well, let's go, guys. Uh, Wait, I just want to, so was that the last of the family that got eaten by the dragon? Yes. The Von Traps are still alive. It was the other family that stole the <laughs> money. Is that right? Is that who was running across there that got torched? No, no, that was just a regular person. Oh, okay. Uh, so Generalissimo uh, has rope attached through the eye sockets. Uh, and the pachyderms are going to drag the dragon skull uh, back a long way to Raglan Tower. Uh, you guys have been released. As you do, you notice that uh, certain bounty hunters uh, have taken up a rear position. However, there are several troops behind them. Uh, Dalton... Uh, at Felix again. I don't know it's Felix. <laughs> I think she really likes you. It's a five. <laughs> uh, so uh, Dalton sends her love. Uh, it's- Felix is going to look at, I think, Robert and say, I told you we did. <laughs> And then I'm going to blow her a kiss. <laughs> I can't see his face because he's washed out, but I'm sure that he's like... <sighs> she catches the kiss, throws it down, and her horse excrements on the ground as she passes by. I think she threw it on a saddle, Felix. I, Don't let her kid you. No, that was kind of our thing. He threw it down. Oh, gross. <laughs> it, it was gross. It is but mid-morning I'm covered in Eight. Let's go. Up? Let's ride. We Wait. know where he's at. We know where the Dalton's at. Let's get on the road and go. Did Did you heal Haggis? Haggis was torn up. Yeah, That's I healed right. Haggis. Okay. I'm I'm good. And it just before we get into combat, Haggis uh-huh. and uh, Fang and Copius all took massive damage. From that freaking dragon. So just be aware of that if we have more combat. Well, it, his heal matched my um, max HP, so I am good. Oh, that's perfect. Now. I have some uh, healing potions if anyone would like some. I just uh, took one myself. I, 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 I Three quarters the way down still. I, ex- yeah. I expended my big spell slots, so it's going to go dime shit from here on out. Really? Same that's here. That's too bad. Yeah, Felix. Oh, Dragon's yeah. mate flies oh, into the picture. Yeah, can I have that one of the healing potions? I yeah, mean, who else needs one? Because I don't I, have another. Me. Everybody. Doctor Fang, MD. Doctor Fang, Copious. Uh, what about you, Crapstain? Crapstain. Cool. I'm all right. Okay. Yeah. Are you Perfect. still? You still need healing, Fang? Yes. Let I me look into Robert, my bag and see how many I, I have. I spent some healing on him, but. It, uh, I'm down to uh, like all level one and freaking cantrips. I think I still got level two spells. Left. I have just where are we going on the, the map? I got it back. Uh, he's he's a third of the way up. He just okay. actually you're down. going right here. Yeah, we're not actually going to Triorki. I just want the mercenaries to think we're going to Triorki. Are we still going to cut through the woods or are we just going to home stretch? That is the next question. How much do you get for the healing potions? Felix. 1d8 plus 2, I think. Yep, two. And no no ones. Yep. Would we are did the bounty hunters and the mercenaries leave? The bounty hunters and the Army? military have left. But they all went the other direction, right? That means that they weren't there to stop us at Triorki in the first place. And they're they going, rode they're the going to Raglan Tower. Yeah. We're all right. We need to get to Triorki, and we yeah. can get back on the road as far as I'm concerned. So we're pr- pretty safe if we go to Triorki and stay on the road. Cut, just cut across the – let's go straight east across both roads. Yeah. 
And then when we hit the second road, we know we have to cut southeast. Okay, let's do it. Oh, Lord. So we're, we're, we're cutting across the frontier. That's the that's the choice. I, I want to get on the road. It well, makes we have more to sense to take the road into Triorki and then take the other road out of Triorki. All right, let's do it. So we're going to do the road instead of frontier. Yeah. Apparently. Will it get us there faster? It'll get you there safer. Yeah, let's do the road. Road it is. Smells like success, I'm thinking. Uh, you guys success. head due north, and as you reach the road, you see a ragtag band of people. Uh, a lot of them are disheveled. Uh, some of them look like uh, the hero of your group. Uh, it looks like they are survivors, possibly from Smidgey's Roadhouse. Uh, let's see, Haggis, why don't you give me a D6, please? Me? Yep. Do any of them look like girls from Smidgey's? Oh, uh, that's four. What, that's what we're checking. Two of the triplets have survived. Oh, jeez. Yeah, so, like, what are, they, what are they doing? Like, exactly. They're walking. <laughs> They're looking at you and licking their lips. <laughs> uh, they are in a ragtag band of survivors. Uh, they look injured. Their charisma has dropped. Uh, their hair is disheveled. They're, everybody is dirty. Uh, a lot of people have injury. Uh, and they are just kind of shuffling, doing a zombie shuffle uh, to the east. Uh, possibly to Triorki, possibly further east. It's hard to say. Uh, you see them. You may speak to them uh, as they see you. Uh, clearly, Felix is still covered in blood. Uh, everybody else is healed, but you know nobody's gotten cleaned up, as far as I've heard. So you guys, I, um, I, I clean up my face a little bit. Well, good. Your face is clean. Your armor looks like shit. <laughs> it's uh, fine. But say, so, wasn't he underneath it or something covered in Felix, blood? Anyway, Felix, Felix was underneath. Yeah, it. I was down there giving the thing a uh, so, circumcision. Yeah. <laughs> so as Robert and Manfred ride up on their giant battle chickens, the rest of you with shell shocked zonkies ride up. Uh, you recognize faces. Uh, clearly, Haggis recognizes the faces of two people specifically. Uh, some of the sex workers are present, the bartender, the cute waitresses, and some of the patrons. As you intersect with them on the road, uh, they look at you. Thousand-yard stare, not much focus, uh, kind of looking forlorn. I mean, after all, most of these people have lost everything they've worked for. Uh, do you want to interact with these folks? Sure. Dude, it sounds to me like there's a possible business opportunity here. Oh, my God. <laughs> uh, I can't find the right location in the next round. We got a bar, brothel, and a restaurant all built into the restaurant. We got a source of income. And Copius just became partners with everybody. Yeah, Copius, uh, Felix, come on, Robert. This is our dream location. I, I think we're about half a, half a day ahead of schedule, and that's all the time Felix needs. We're not half a day ahead of schedule. We're on schedule. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. But let's think. So immediately as we come up on this, I catch, I catch eye with Robert and Felix, and we're all thinking the same thing. So Kopi starts passing out drinks of copious uh, the uh, bitters, uh, best, right, to anyone, you know, sympathizing. Oh, you poor. And I'm looking at him going, future workers, and then passing it out. And and do we see, like, the, the a smidgy person, actually? Or uh, D12 against me. Let's see if smidgy lived. I highly doubt that Felix is thinking the same thing. Smidgy died. Smidgy died. But the daughters are there, right? Two of the three daughters are there. So I'm going to, oh, sympathetic. Oh, here, have a drink. Oh, sympathetic. Here, have a drink. By the way, do you have the deed to the property? It burned up. 
Perfect. Are you willing to sell? And it's a tragedy. I want to help you get restarted. Would you be willing to sell the property? Why does the world like to give us carpet a bagger come to mind? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I had too much time today with my brother, so now I'm all like, oh, let's 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 build a business and screw people. Mm -hmm. No, not, not screw. Give them an opportunity. Just trying to, we can put a new brewery right there at the roadhouse, sort of custom uh, uh, craft beers from the Volpitters brand, and have a brothel. How much is your daughter worth to you? Smidgey's dead. <laughs> He's dead. Oh. Dude. <laughs> How much? Uh, well, uh, I'm glad the teenager has instantly <laughs> gone to sex slavery. That's the. I, I, I was about to say. <laughs> Wait, was that what you guys? I'm all about there? running a brothel, but I didn't say I'm starting sex slave trade here. Come on. The FBI no, is more just just our brothel, tab. and are looking at what we are doing. Sex workers versus sex slaves. There is a distinct. Yeah, difference there. They still get paid over here. I, Jim yeah. Belushi from Blues Brothers. That's all that just. How much for the wee me? <laughs> How much for the little girl? Yeah, that's his <laughs> uh, face away. So as, as Copius puts on his Elon Musk hat uh, and attempts to make a bad situation slightly less scrupulous, uh, you guys will walk with this group noting that you are the only mounted ones, uh, but Copius is fully intent on a business opportunity. Haggis is fully intent on an opportunity of a different sort. Uh, Felix, where do you stand on this uh, venture? Uh, I'm in. Man, man Fang, uh, where do you stand on this venture? Uh, I'm not really standing, I'm all riding away from you. Guys, you realize that we own a destroyed town over on the coast. Yep. Now you're wanting to buy a destroyed inn on the road. We're going to oh, own this. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. Uh, Robert, what do you uh, what do you think about this business venture? Who do you think brought up the business venture to begin with? Just double checking, uh, Leaf. Last uh, last call. What do you think on the business venture? I'm just shaking my head, staying the hell out of it. I'm less than considerate. So, ouch! Uh, fully intent on this business opportunity of a lifetime. You are going to lose some time here. But who wants to roll a d20? to determine success or failure. No no bonuses, straight up D20. Roll it, and then I will tell Robert. you how much time Robert. you have lost. It was Robert's idea. Nominate Robert. Robert. That 20. <laughs> they have nothing, so they are in. Uh, but the finagling Costs you 11 oh. hours oh, God. <laughs> uh, as you trudge along with these people uh, doing their best. It is now midday of the ninth day. <laughs> you are just outside of Triorki. We gotta uh, push on through, boys. The people are now your retinue but they move slowly. You, uh, Robert can feel an intense pressure. His uh, arm is starting to go a little bit limp. He doesn't feel so hot. Uh, I think he's having a stroke. That's it almost is, kielbasa, man. I mean, what's causing that shit. So it is clear that the TikTok is going off. If you continue with your retinue, you are going to be late. I'm going to I'll leave some out. Gold pieces for purchase of a tent to set up outside of town until our return. Yep, I'll get, I'll split the cost of, of whatever rubber I give to So everyone from Smidges is on on this, right? Like so everyone? Survivors. Everyone. Well, Nat 20. Yeah, survivors, all of the survivors with a Nat 20. Have bought into this bullshit you guys are spewing. But we're like we're like their bosses, right? Yeah. Yeah. 
And their oh, dad's oh, this is an HR complaint. <laughs> this, shut, 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 shut up, shut up, shut up. Just, 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 they stole my clothes. I'm hey. their boss. They. You don't mess with your own stash. What is that, 23? 23, 23. 23 people. That's a big, that, what's that dice yeah. size? 300 sided dice. It's a 30 sided 30 side dice. I wonder why you can't beat him. He's rolling a D30. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the whole time? Well, I'm rolling two D20s and taking my better. <laughs> Felix, it's his game. It's his rules. That's right. That I, don't have to, I don't have to share my rules with Hello. you. <laughs> okay. You so just answer to them. Okay. You, ha you have 23 people uh, vying for tents. Uh, fortunately, Copious, a familiar face is in Triorki. Your business venture, lucrative as it may be, has arrived. Uh, she has actually not left because uh, yeah, she likes it here. Uh, she inquires as to what is going on. Uh, I'll give her the very short version. Robert's dealing with the rest of the folks to get them something <laughs> to eat in a tent. I'll uh, just let her know, hey, I've got some business to take care of with the rest of the party. Then we'll be back here. And then we have an opportunity for you to have an exclusive location to begin production of beer and start selling out of Smidge's Roadhouse. I'm assuming she has been there. Oh, yeah. There's, there's yeah, it's now, it's, it's now the... the uh, Smidge's we've, ashes. Be, it's <laughs> ours. I, I'm yeah. going to tell Copious and Robert and Felix, look, if you're going to do this deal, you need to get it down on parchment now before we move on. It'll only take a few minutes. It's going to seal it up so nobody gets the bright idea to you know, take it away from you before you get back. Oh, it's in, it's in you will need to time. find a barrister. <laughs> All right, I'll tell you, I'll tell you what. Town. How about how about we do this? Robert and most of the party go ahead and start moving out while one other person in Copious look for a barrister, maybe Felix. Oh damn it. I knew you were gonna say me. Hey, you're in you're in I know, field. I know. We quickly right. find a barrister to just drop the documents and get them signed. All right, we'll out. Good idea. Give me a D4. Ugh. One. One hour is how oh. long it's going to take you to find it. Uh, so am I to understand that Leaf, Robert, Fang, and Haggis are headed towards the sisters? Yes. Let's Very go. Good. You four arrive at the sisters, Abby, at nightfall. Uh, the headmistress looks at you. Where are the others? We've had, Where uh, is the jewel? Robert, you got the jewel? We got the jewel. I had the jewel the whole time. I thought Cookers had it. No, because I took uh, that jewel and I held it against me and it was yes, not I taped it to my <laughs> chest. That's Robert's right. Got that okay. jewel. Trapped it to his chest. The only way it was coming away from me is dead. <laughs> may I have the jewel? Yeah, may I have the relief? Is the jewel still attached to the pendant? No. Is it? I thought you took it out of the pendant. Took it out of the pendant. Took it out of the pendant. Leaf took the pendant, I thought. I got the spider <laughs> pendant. They just got the jewel. Yeah, I have a spider. I will perform the release on you four. Well, okay. I get you, Joe. Insight check. Oh, hey, really? Oh, ha. That's a 25. 16. 19. In plus four, buddy. That's a oh, 15. Even Man Fang realizes that. What about the other two? Yeah. I'll, I'll ask him, what about the other two? I'm only doing this once, and the moon is rising. The blood what would, moon is what rising. would happen if they kept the pendant? Oh, they're going to keep Hypothetically. the jewel. They don't give a shit about the pendant. Oh, no, I'm not, I'm not the pendant. I mean the, the curse or spell on us. They will die. Could you extend it? Huh. 
I you should. Should. I you won't. You could extend our war. <laughs> Free two lives for Well, I'll look Robert. at Robert and I'll say, were they planning on following us here? after? They got I thought he was finishing up business and then moving on. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, you know what? That's on them. If they don't make it, that's <laughs> all. We'll get two more people to go with us. I mean, uh, AJ and uh, Jason, I'm going to need you to check the oil on the bus that's about to hit you guys. What time is it right now? What time is it? Yeah, what time is it now? We've got till midnight. It's about seven o'clock. How far is the tower from the village? I'll get I'll take my sonkey back up the road. I'll take my sonkey back up the road, see if I can find them. Copious Felix, you head towards the sisters by yourself on a darkened road on a pair of zonkeys. Possibly both pregnant. <laughs> Who wants to roll the d12 to see if you are made by people? I'll roll it. I'll roll it. I'll roll it. I'll roll it. Well, it's got to be copious or Felix. Would you roll? Felix, you want to roll? All right, I'll roll it. Oh, good. Six. Five. Oh. An hour later. Hell. An hour later, you know what? About forty-five minutes later, Leaf, uh, you see a pair of uh, ne'er do wells uh, on zonkeys headed your way. I'm right up to them, say, "Look, we have to hurry. If you're not back there, she's only going to do this once. If they were not there by midnight, we're going to die. We, we would have I mean, been faster. We're gonna zonkeys die. are really slow. It's it's Better like you're carrying them. extra weight. Put some spurs to that. And be careful, my child or the, the baby." Copious and Leaf perception checks. 13. 21. Leaf, there's something moving around. Uh, you mean like in the weeds or in the belly? In the zonk. In the zonk. <laughs> <laughs> It's like an alien baby. It's like the baby from well, Alien. Two. That in chest. Hey guys, there's something in the bushes. <sighs> Maybe come faster. Jeez, I'm casting major armor as soon as I hear him say something, something in the pack weapon. Sure. Uh, do you guys want to make a run for it or yep. stay in the fight? Yep. Make it a run. Yes. All dope. three of you give me dexterity, or I will take acrobatics in lieu of dexterity if you want. I pray to the dexterity goddess. And neither one's any good. <laughs> Uh, 16. 18. Not 20. What was yours, Lee? 18. Uh, behind you, you hear movement coming out of the woods, but spurring your zonkeys forward, uh, you hightail it out of there and get... Uh, you arrive at the Abbey uh, about 15 minutes later. Uh, meanwhile... I, I don't know. Haggis might be hitting on the sisters. No, I wouldn't do that. That's not right. And, and, and yes, you know, you while, while you're waiting, uh, Manfang, Haggis, or Robert, would any of the three of you like to go around back to check the graveyard again? Because that worked out <laughs> no, no, no. well last time. You know what? Nah, I don't want to. I didn't do that, and I made sure there's a little punishment involved with doing that on your own. <laughs> yeah. And so, um, there might be sister, gold back there. is your hand ready? Let's do this. It's Sound <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Take this oh, spell off. <laughs> you know, you know, I, I, I always promote this show as how do three generations play D and D? And you never see that it's the old guy doing that shit. <laughs> this is what happens when they're homeschooled. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, everybody is there. The headmistress, who looks a lot like B. Arthur, is there. She is ready to lift the Yves Gaze uh, quest upon you, leads you into that circular room where uh, Robert was splayed out earlier and asks you all to kneel. 
Galen Bob, or is that just Felix? Like, there's yeah. your favorite spot right there, buddy. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've been there. I've done this before. Okay. <laughs> you, all, you all kneel, and if you've seen Constantine, you know what Lucifer does. Done. <laughs> you may leave. Hey, I'm, I'm going to ask, uh, I'm going to yeah. ask the, whatever she is, Abbas. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all right if we bed down for the night here because it's awfully late. It is not. <laughs> so what, we're just uh, in the outer room, we just sleep out there in the outer room, is that all right, Tim? No. <laughs> uh, well, well before we hit the road, then can we get a little healing after all this? We took a lot of damage to retrieve this. Yeah. Cool. No. <laughs> can we go double or nothing for another one? <laughs> <laughs> well, then how about how yes? About, <laughs> you know, he got his own. I'll hell be hell hell no. out. Do you have any other gems we can get for you? Oh, we don't on. know Let's him. So if you're doing double or nothing, it's just this person, whoever this is. He's he not Arthur, with us. The tallest golden girl bids you a swift exit. You may Arthur. camp outside the abbess. All right, There's we'll always that. room in the graveyard if you need it. <laughs> <laughs> camp outside, then I ain't going anywhere this late at night. There, oh, yeah. guys, let's go double or nothing. Uh, with that, the heart palpitations, the unusual motion and uh, twitching that Robert Zeppelin has developed fade away. All six of you Finally. breathe the fresh air of freedom and are certain that you'll never see Dalton again. Oh, hell no. You now have 23 indentured servants, for lack of a better term. Three of you now have extended dark vision. Uh, you didn't get paid for this job, but the payment uh, was rendered in the form that you are now free to go about and do what you I want. You managed to squeak it out about three and a half hours before the time expired, courtesy of good rolls by moi. <laughs> uh, so in Triorki, you have set up the murder hobo tent city of 23 survivors. Uh, you will now need to figure out what you want to do with them uh, and then choose your next course of action. You have the entire halfling kingdom uh, at your disposal. However, I don't think the fanfare surrounding your accomplishments are going to be um, directed uh, specifically in your area other than an assisting position. Well, we'll write up something for the uh, management and the structure of the new facilities payment plans and you gotta build a new facility and pay for that construction cost it sounds like you need a barrister <laughs> and somebody well, but here's a thought we can always go find the lair of this red dragon and that should provide us with enough wealth to rebuild we are free to move we out we are, don't free. Go to rat we are free okay. men now Where are I, I, the and, and, and you know i i think Where they said uh you know the dragon came out of the area, oh, right around here. So, oh, yeah. we're not going to Raglan. Right yeah, around there. I, I, I think that is probably, because you guys were right here. So, you know, probably in this area, I'm guessing. Yeah, no, uh, we were heading towards Thornhill originally. Mm-hmm. I would say, there. at least for the short term, we keep moving east so we don't run into Generalissimo until he gets his fill of his <clears throat> fame with the dragon killed. Some bitch will never get his fill of fame. Eh, I think we left the Generalissimo in a good spot, though. Yeah, we did. I would right. agree. Let's head on down to Thornfield then after we Thorn. rest. Well, I think we before we leave Triorchy, we set up set up the business stuff like Robert suggested. We sit down, figure out management structure. Uh, if we work out a deal with the uh, Heine, uh, we may be able to leave her in charge of the site because she has the, the beer cart already. 
So she could probably get something set up with a tent, <clears throat> some other things set up at that location while we wait. And we did come away with uh, 200 platinum ingots. <clears throat> and, uh, that, I don't know what the cost would be. So that'd be something uh, to ask the DM to help uh, with some rolls about what Square it would Square footage of dragon hide did I come away with? Uh, you came away with two full pieces, right? Yes. And scraps. Uh, I'll give you... Uh, and scraps. D12 against me. Hey, hey for our Nine. partners. I'm thinking Red Dragon Inn. Six. Uh, you have enough to make armor, boots, and uh, cool-looking bracers that don't do much, but they look cool as shit. I want one of those. Actually, I don't want one of those. So full set of leather armor, full pair of boots. I think you should uh, make a thong for Dr. Fang, too. I don't want that. So I'm going to make, 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 make a mask out of the freaking hide. Like well, that's an idea. I like that. He's going to look like Leatherface. <laughs> so, uh, yes, after you uh, find the barrister again, you can go ahead and make the legal documents. I think Copius's comment about leaving the lady in charge of it seems feasible, especially since he has already entered an agreement with her. A legally binding agreement, I might add. Uh, but yes, the dragon horde is probably in those peaks somewhere. Uh, finding it, easier said than done, perhaps. Uh, but at this point in time, you do have the Halfling Kingdom that you can scour around and handle it. Uh, we will go ahead and work on the business section next time. Uh, and you guys can email me your thoughts on the direction of travel you wish to go. Uh, have I sent you this email or this uh, image yet? I will send that out this evening. So uh, to recap, Haggis, what did you think? I, I feel good. I kind of feel like this. Do you think like you could marry three people? There's only two people there, you ninny. The, the triplets. He was. Yeah, well, only two of them survived. Yeah, the third one's dead. You necrophiliac. Dude, that's perfect. And you and know, you're not. You can't mess with your own stash. Come on, don't you watch drug movies? Hey, what? Watch horrible movies. <laughs> what are we? You don't understand that. Uh, Alex, what do you think? Uh, Felix is suddenly having second thoughts about entering in here. If we're not going to get the employee discount at the brothel, I'm not sure I want to be part of this anymore. Other than that, I had a good time, and I'm so glad that that dragon's breath didn't hit me. It would have killed me. You know what? I'm thinking the pink dragon in. I'd like the idea of the pink dragon. <laughs> yeah, I think the pink dragon. Uh... Writing, I'm writing that down. I'm taking that idea. That's right. You're going to steal that one. Jason, what do you think? I... I wasn't sure we were going to live through the dragon encounter, to be honest with you. I'll tell you what, if he wouldn't have rolled those low rolls on those dice, we wouldn't have. Uh, I, you're lucky because had Robert been there from the beginning, uh, it would have been a little bit tougher because the slashing would have really hurt Haggis uh, because it would have been D8s, not D6s. So. Well, if we hadn't had that damage from the breath, Copious would have gone up as a cinder flame. <clears throat> so darn. Yeah, it would have just one after the other was going to fall with that dragon's breath. So that was it broke my heart. Tough. <clears throat> little little Frankie, what'd you think? Oh, it was great. Didn't get to use much of my medical skill, but still, I think it was a great day overall. Oh. You know, I think it was a great day because you didn't get to use your medical skill. Nobody died because he didn't use his <laughs> MD. Uh, middle Frank, what'd you think? Uh, for the part that I came in on, you know, I, I, I liked it. I, I thought Robert needed uh, a little bit more of a Robert hand in this play. Well, you know, he did successfully recall one of the chickens. Uh, that's that's the big thing. Robert saves yeah. his chickens. So, yeah. The, oh, uh, that's right. That's what brought the dragon to us. Uh, that was kind of a drawback. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Frank Sr., what'd you think? Uh, that was... Uh... That was. I thought we were all going to die. I really did. But I looked up red dragons while we were going. Oh shit! There is no way. 
You're and, welcome. And, well, I, I kind of threw a hint out there that he had metal arrows in metal headed arrows in him, Robert, so you could cast burning. Oh, yeah. I, I I picked up on it. Yeah. I waited for heat metal. Heat metal never came. I well, it, it was for me. I had to drop the lightning storm if I was going to switch to something else, and I didn't want to. Tomato, do that right tomato. Then. Yeah. I was going to do the heat metal, but instead I healed man. Yeah, I'm yeah, sorry, the man. No, I was, I, I'm just glad it's over. But there was a, a, a brief moment where we all thought the DM was really tired of DMing this group. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. We're going to take care of the team. Here it goes. Here comes the wipeout. You aren't mistaken, but the dice give it the dice table. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I enjoyed it. I was uh, curious as to how it would happen, and I was, I was honestly uncertain uh, if I wouldn't have a few casualties. So, uh, And I came close. So, but uh, poor, poor die rolls really caught me. I mean, yeah. I had five ones on that first half. Five ones. It's just uh, a good thing that was a young dragon and not an old one. Yeah. Uh, folks, this has been Murder Hobo Inc., uh, the tri generational campaign. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed yourself. <laughs> follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about DD, join our Discord. If you want to be on a one shot like this past Saturday, maybe this coming Thursday, we aren't really sure yet, or the talk show on Tuesday, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail. Thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for uh, dice that didn't let me down because those D6s were not from them. Uh, Oddfishgames.com and their scent of party panic was delightful for me. Uh, also, don't forget to check out their shine system. Most importantly, don't forget murderhobocon.com. We're looking for DMs, GMs, panels, and seminars right now. Uh, badges are available. No tickets are available yet. We want to get you uh, a full slate of events before that. Uh, we do have. We are doing it in a virtual world for charity. Part of that virtual world includes possibly two live performing bands and one live performing comedian. I picked up two Walmart. Uh, gift cards as uh, door prizes. So we got a few of those as well. Murderhobocon.com. Check it out. Folks, for the Margu campaign and all these guys, thanks for watching. Dating game, kiss and wave, boys. Mwah. See you, folks. <laughs>